Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, April 12th, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Again, you'll notice that the trend remains very, very bullish here for the ES. Uh, a continued uptrend here uh, ever since that Thursday strong low. We haven't even seen price test the eight period pivot based EMA this entire time. That yellow moving average ever since the break above that level it has gone above it this is about as strong a bull trend as you have gotten the other thing to note is that we have not seen even a test not even one day where we tested the previous sessions low ever since we got that strong low on Thursday so this market continues to show strength either sideways to up it has not hit the previous sessions lows so that tells us that the previous session's midpoint will be a very important level here today to watch. If price gets down into about 4100 or 4101s, that could be an opportunity to trap and reverse for a continuation higher into the close. Again, this market remains a very quiet market, one that uh, continues to uh, mostly go sideways with, with an upward directional conviction. Um, and until we get a major pullback here this this framework likely remains in play but if we do get one big pullback over the series of maybe two or three days that could provide a very good swing buying opportunity for a continuation higher over the next several weeks so if we do get a pullback of some magnitude here early in the week or soon that could provide a very good buy opportunity all right, let's take a look here at the NQ. Again, the NQ looking very similar here to the ES. Um, very strong bullish trend. This one is approaching the previous highs here. Previous highs come into play right in here. That's right at 13.9. Getting very, very close. We're at 13.79925 right now very bullish upward trend for this one we talked about this compression and how price had gone sideways for several weeks and how if we get a breakout likely to the upside it opens up quite a bit of of strength to the upside we talked about the 13,000 to 15,000 potential move that could play out by June or into June as 15k is the 100 percent upside target of this key range. So you have this key range right here and you forecast that range higher you get 15073s. So further strength toward that target likely to be seen but again very similar to the ES any pullback here does continue to remain a buying opportunity. Um, any first major pullback with especially with this rapidly rising bullish Pima trigger zone that could offer a trap and go for a multi-week move but right now again very similar to the ES we've only had one day actually two days here where we've taken out the previous low taken out the previous low and bounced uh, so not likely to get a test all the way across the range which makes again uh, Friday's midpoint the most important key level to watch in that case uh, watching that lower key level which is 13745s so 13.745 or thereabouts or a trap below it could provide a bounce opportunity for a continuation higher uh, into the close. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. Now from the daily time frame here, there's a couple of things, three different things going on. Number one, we have the large range that has developed over the last 15 days. We're still trading in that range and as a matter of fact we're trading right at the center of that range and right at the center of uh, this key range as well this impulse move so still inside that larger three-week range if you go down to the 60 minute time frame you have a significant compression like this and it appears as though it's attempting to break to the upside at 60 right now very good day so far but not quite a breakout. What you do see is a bullish outside day. That's number three there. A failure to push um, 
much farther below the last couple of day lows. It turns around, pushes through the previous mid and high, and is currently sitting above the high. So right now it is a bullish outside day. Uh, perhaps the size of the day would disqualify it from having a signal. Maybe if it gets a little bit bigger here because the average has been such a wide range of volatility. So overall, this market right now is attempting to break that 60 to the to the upside. That's a level we talked about here over the last several days. It's breaking or attempting to break that narrow consolidation to the upside. And that could take us to the upper end of the range at the very least, 61.50 to 62. We talked about on on Thursday that if price were to pull back to 59, there could be a three-point move from 59 to 62. Uh, it kind of bounced off that level and held. Today, there was a trap below 59s. Perhaps this is a day over the next one to two or three days where we continue to push higher toward 62. Now, 62 is going to be the big level because that's the level that kind of 62, 63 really, which kind of bisects this upper market structure from the lower. If we can't transition above that zone, that means we may be looking at more weakness up ahead. So right now, still in the center of that range, today showing itself as a bullish outside day, which means we could have more strength to the upside as long as price continues to hold above 60. All right, lastly, taking a look at gold futures. Gold right now down about a third of a percent. Uh, this one overall has done a decent job of bouncing over the last uh, week plus. We had a higher low here and a big bounce back to new highs above 1750. Right now in the pullback phase, I mentioned late last week that if we got one good pullback uh, and bounce, you know, one good failed new low, a day like this, it could really trigger the next wave of strength. Uh, the thing that's kind of the uphill force right now for this one is that you know, it's been in a downward trend this entire time. Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. This is the time where it failed to get a new low and now it got a higher low. So things are changing, but it hasn't completely changed because that 1766, that key level right here, that's the real level that price must get above because once price can get above that level, it opens up all the way another 100 handles to 1865 to 1875. So this is where, again, if we can get an early rejection this week, a failed new low, maybe we get a breakdown of these five-day lows and then price bounces off 1720. That could provide a very good path from 1725 to 1875 perhaps a plus 100 to come if it turns out the way it can. All right, that's it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.